not in our backyard. That's the message many people in St. Tammany Parish are sending when it comes to fracking. Concerned citizens feel the controversial drilling practice will contaminate their water supply, damage the environment, and decrease property values. And as WDSU anchor LaTanya Norton explains, today they took a stand by taking a ride. From Covington to Avita Springs and back again. They pedaled for miles. Saturday on the North Shore, dozens took part in frack stock. No fracking. No a bike frack. ride and rally to show support for a frack free St. Tammany Parish. Potentially that means supporting a drilling ban, but at least it means slowing down and uh, making sure that permits that are being applied for right now are looked at under scrutiny by the residents. Fracking or hydraulic fracturing works by injecting water, sand, and chemicals into underwater layers of rock to release oil and gas. Environmentalists fear fracking will contaminate the water supply and damage the environment. It's all about protecting this nature. So we had to see it for ourselves and go explore it on bike without using any fuel, without using oil or gas. There are no guarantees that the water that they use. For the fracking process will not leach down into the freshwater aquifer. A lawsuit has been filed by concerned citizens of St. Tammany Parish against Helis Gas and Oil to stop fracking under zoning laws. The company wants to drill north of Interstate 12 and east of Highway 1088 between Mandeville and Abita Springs. Residents feel doing so will decrease their property values. We're very strong against this. We're doing everything we can to stop this. And I believe the parish is beginning to understand that this is the will of the people of St. Tammany Parish. They do not want this. Fracking opponents plan to take their fight to the state capitol next week. On your side in St. Tammany Parish, LaTanya Norton, WDSU News. Ellis's plan is just in the early stages of the permitting process at this point. This year, a club is organizing a march Saturday, June 28th at 1 o'clock in Baton Rouge.